Bolivia may not be the most popular tourist destination in South America, but it is definitely worth visiting. With the right guide, this country has all it takes to be your best travel destination yet. Luckily, this video will discuss the top places to visit during your stay in Bolivia. Number 1. La Paz As the administrative capital of Bolivia, La Paz is among the most popular cities here and one of the first places to visit. Resting at an elevation of over 3,600 meters above sea level, this city is known as the highest administrative capital in the world. It is also the third most populated city in the country, so you should expect to walk through big crowds here. However, you can rest assured of a breathtaking experience touring this city, as there are loads of activities and attractions to keep you occupied throughout your stay. Of course, there are many places to visit in La Paz, but the city's highlight surely includes the colorful markets. Once you've settled in here, your attention will surely be drawn to the Witch Market, which is arguably the most popular of the numerous markets in this part. Also known as El Mercado de las Brujas, this market is at Cerro Cumbre, and it has since gained recognition as one of the main tourist attractions in La Paz. Indeed, the market is called the Witch Market because of the dominant figures of local witch doctors displaying their potions, herbs, dried frogs, and armadillos here. However, you will be assured of a fun-filled day exploring different corners of this market and watching the trades go on. You can also buy lots of other goods here, especially souvenirs, with which to remember this exciting experience. While in the capital city, you may also want to head down to El Alto's multifunctional center to catch a couple or more Cholita wrestling bouts. Cholita wrestling is a theatrical display of fighting skills by flamboyantly costumed women, and it is a very popular event in Bolivia. You certainly do not want to miss out on this exciting activity that brings locals and tourists together for an alternative type of entertainment. Yet another popular activity to try in La Paz is the Mi Teleferico, which is the urban cable car transit system in this part of the country. Of course, this system ranks high among the most developed cable car systems in the world, and La Paz is one of the few places you can find it in South America. So why not take the opportunity to enjoy this fun activity while moving from one place to another and exploring different locations here in the capital city? Number 2. Potosi Your next destination in Bolivia should be the Southern Highlands, where the mining city of Potosi awaits you. This city is one of the highest in the world, standing at an elevation of over 4,000 meters on a cold and barren plateau just underneath the Potosi Mountain. It is one of the oldest cities in Bolivia, and as such, it has become pretty famous within the country and beyond. However, the majority of its fame is believed to be tied to the fabled Potosi Mountain, or the Cerro Rico, as it is also referred to. The city is arguably the most popular in the colonial era due to the silver mining activities in and around the Potosi Mountain. Today, it is no longer a prominent silver mining location, but it remains important for the well-preserved colonial architecture and unusual geographic settings. However, these mining sites are still active and worth visiting, attracting thousands of tourists from far and wide. Your tour of the city will surely be more exciting than you imagine, and you may want to especially check out the underground mines. The conditions here may not be entirely safe to explore alone, but there are tour guides available to help show you around the mining center while ensuring you adhere to safety precautions. Indeed, the Potosi Mountain is globally important, and it has been adopted as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Other significant landmarks and structures to check out in this city include the National Mint of Bolivia, the Church of San Lorenzo de Carangas, and the Cathedral of Potosi, among others. Number 3. Tupisa Tupisa is a small city in southern Bolivia, and it is one of the most popular in this part. Plus, it is most famous for its unique desert landscapes and red rock formations. Also referred to as the Wild Badlands, this city sees thousands of visitors yearly, but it often doesn't get as much attention as it deserves. However, the tourists that find their way here often have many positive reviews about their fantastic desert experiences. First, this city boasts one of South America's most dramatic desert landscapes, with red rock canyons and cactus fields on the horizon, adding to its appeal. You are sure to enjoy the extraordinary scenes in these parts, as there are spectacular landscapes to the north and south of this small town. Of course, you can explore some of these dramatic sceneries on your own, but you would have a better chance of capturing the best of this excursion on a guided tour, which you can book at multiple places in the city. If you are an adventurer and reckon yourself fit enough for a trekking expedition, you can join a hiking party to explore some of the outstanding trails here in Tupisa. 
Perhaps you can go for the trails leading up to the Cerro Corazon de Jesus and the Cerro La Cruz, as they are the most popular treks for tourists looking to get a hilltop view of this amazing city. Number 4. Sucre Sucre is the constitutional capital of Bolivia, making it one of the most popular cities in the country and a must-visit tourist destination anytime you are in South America. It is also the sixth most populated city in the country, so you should expect to witness more crowds in this part. However, this all adds to the fun experience and millions of tourists often head here to have a good time every year. With whitewashed colonial buildings and bell towers, Sucre is known as the most beautiful city in Bolivia. In fact, UNESCO inscribed Sucre on its World Heritage List in 1991 because the city's well-preserved architecture illustrates the blending of local traditions with European styles. Sucre features many noteworthy tourist attractions, including the Casa de la Libertad, where Bolivia's Declaration of Independence was signed. Here you will find several historical galleries on display, and you can get an insight into the country's rich history before and after independence. Universidad Mayor de San Francisco Javier, which is the second oldest university in the Americas, is another historic center to visit in Sucre, along with a dozen other museums and religious centers that will definitely catch your interest. Indeed, you could rest assured of a good time exploring this historic city. Number 5. Bolivian Amazon if you have dreamed of visiting the famous South American Amazon rainforest, then your trip to Bolivia presents you with the perfect opportunity to experience this natural wonder firsthand. Although not the biggest, Bolivia owns a significant part of the Amazon rainforest, covering over 40% of the nation's territory, so you are sure to get your fill of the rainforest from here. As the largest region in Bolivia, the Bolivian Amazon is home to hundreds of plants and wildlife, so get ready to get your mind blown here. There are also about 29 indigenous people in this region, so you will likely be interacting with some locals during your tour of this region. Moreover, the Bolivian Amazon rainforest is unique for several reasons, including the fact that you can explore it by trekking or by boat. You can also enjoy this experience at a significantly cheaper rate compared to other countries like Brazil or Peru. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide teaches you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number 6. Lake Titicaca Another exciting destination to include in your list of places to visit in Bolivia is Lake Titicaca, which is one of South America's largest freshwater lakes. It is also one of the oldest lakes in the world, believed to be millions of years old. At an elevation of over 3,800 meters above sea level, Lake Titicaca is the outright highest navigable lake in the world. Plus, although it is situated in the Andes Mountains region, this lake surprisingly never freezes out. However, you may want to discard any thought of swimming in it as the water is often very cold. Also, since it's located on the border of Bolivia and Peru, you can explore the lake from either of these countries. But you can rest assured of an experience to remember exploring this famous lake from the Bolivian territory. Known as the birthplace of the Incas, the region around the lake features several trails, one of which leads to Isla del Sol. This island is located on the outskirts of the Bolivian territory, and it is known for ancient Inca sites like the ruined palace of Pilcocaina. It also houses Roca Sagrada, which is the rock where the first Incas were born. The locals here are peaceful and very receptive, so you can mingle freely while taking in these breathtaking scenes. You can also get a few of the incredible hand-woven sweaters, hats, and jewelry sold by local traders in these parts. Number 7. Tiwanaku just a few kilometers away from Lake Titicaca lies the ancient ruined city of Tiwanaku, and it is another tourist destination you don't want to miss in western Bolivia. It is one of South America's largest pre-Columbian archaeological sites, with the surface remains covering over four square kilometers. Also, this ruined city is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, recording many tourists each year. Here at the Tiwanaku Ruins, you will be greeted by the remains of many outstanding structures like the Acapana Pyramids. You'll also find a semi-subterranean temple with images of human heads carved into the walls. And other notable structures in this ruined city include the huge Gate of the Sun Arch and the nearby Kalasasaya Temple. Of course, the ruins of Tiwanaku are protected, but you can join guided tours to explore this ancient city anytime you come around. Number 8. Samaipata Samaipata is a small town in the eastern part of the Andes region of Bolivia 
but it certainly is one to visit. It is an ancient town previously occupied by the Mohokayas and the Incas, with the latter naming it a provincial capital. The town is also a gateway to the Amboro National Park, which is famed for its cloud forest, waterfalls, and diverse bird species, so it usually entertains lots of visitors daily. For sure, you will also want to jump on this opportunity to explore the numerous attractions this town has to offer. The town is often a lovely sight to behold, with various small multicolored houses making it as colorful as possible. However, the pre-Columbian archaeological site of El Fuerte is the main attraction in this area. This over 2,000 years old UNESCO World Heritage Site is a beacon that attracts many history buffs from far and wide, and you will also find the local recipes of Samaipata pretty delightful, so don't be surprised when you eventually stay in this town longer than you planned. Number 9. Valley of the Moon Valle de la Luna, or Valley of the Moon as it translates, is a popular geological formation in the Pedro Domingo Murillo province of Bolivia, just 10 kilometers away from the capital city of La Paz. This valley is an erosion-stricken part of the tall clay mountains in the region. However, it is said that the valley was named by the legendary Neil Armstrong because it reminded him of scenes from the moon. While this may only be a rumor, it doesn't change the fact that the Valley of the Moon is a destination worth visiting. Indeed, the tall spires formed by the remnants of the mountains are as beautiful as you can imagine, and the trek through the valley is equally exciting. So no doubt, your memory of this sublime natural formation will not be short-lived. Number 10. Death Road The Death Road, which is also known to locals as the Yungas Road, is a 60-kilometer cycle route linking the city of La Paz to the Yungas region of Bolivia. The narrow road is a dangerously steep slope without guardrails, and it got its name from the number of fatalities it recorded early in the 21st century. Thankfully, an alternative route from La Paz to Yungas has since been constructed, and the death road now remains a major tourist attraction in the area, recording over 25,000 thrill-seekers per year. If you're up for it, do join one of the many tour agencies providing cycling tours on the death road. Number 11. Umboro National Park if you are a fan of nature and wildlife, the Amboro National Park in central Bolivia should be among your top destinations to visit. It is located in the Andes foothills, just 40 kilometers away from Santa Cruz, and it has since been recognized as a top tourist attraction, with over 100,000 visitors making their way here each year. This large number of annual visitors comes as no surprise since this reserve houses over 900 species of birds and 177 mammals, including the puma and rare spectacled bear. There's absolutely no doubt that you will find your visit here pretty interesting and memorable. Number 12. Eduardo Averroa and Dan Fuana National Reserve Truly, Umboro may be very popular, but it is not as popular as the Eduardo Averroa and Dan Fuana National Reserve in Sur Lopez. This reserve is by far the country's most visited protected area, and you already know it's worth a place on your bucket list. The landscape here is breathtakingly beautiful, and you will most certainly be left amazed by the volcanoes and the windswept deserts. But then, the hot springs and fantastic water bodies are often the most attractive sites here. Of course, the Eduardo Averroa and Dan Fuana National Reserve boast some exciting lakes, with the Laguna Colorado among the most prominent. This site is specifically interesting because of its red watercolor that is caused by red sediments and pigmentation of some algae in it. On the other hand, the Laguna Verde is also known for its green-colored water that results from the mineral suspensions that go into the water from its subsoil. While both lakes are spectacular sights to behold, they are not great places to swim, and you may want to stay out of the water when you get here. Number 13. Uyuni Salt Flats No doubt, there are many notable attractions in Bolivia, but your visit to the country will be deemed incomplete without a tour of the Uyuni Salt Flats, often considered as the legacy of a prehistoric lake that went dry and left behind a desert-like landscape of white salt. The Uyuni Salt Flat is the world's largest salt flat, covering an area of about 11,000 square kilometers. Perhaps this is why many tourists visiting Bolivia often have this as their destination at the top of their list of places to see. But of course, you too should come to pay a visit anytime you are around the region. To visit the Uyuni Salt Flats, you may want to camp in the small Uyuni town, just outside the Salt Flats. Here, you can find several accommodations, including the famous Salt Hotel. Surely, the Hotel de Sal Luna is not a regular hotel and you can tell from the number of visitors lining up to camp here. The hotel is almost entirely made of salt extracted from the salt flat, 
and it offers luxurious accommodations to tourists visiting these parts. While in Uyuni, you may also want to check out the world's largest antique train cemetery. And yes, you heard that right. Uyuni is home to a train cemetery where hundreds of trains and carriages that are no longer in use are abandoned. There have been mixed opinions about this clutter of rusted train skeleton, but many people often find it quite amusing. Perhaps you will also find the site exciting when you come. Click on our next video now for more travel tips and ideas for your visit to Bolivia.